In order to use our map topology, first we need to turn it on. We're going to do that from the editing tab up here next to our save and discard buttons. We have this drop down that says no topology. If we click on it, we can choose map topology and that will turn our topology on. Next, we're going to choose a tool. We're going to choose this edit vertices tool. And when we do that, you'll see that it opens and it has this features and it has edges. We want to make sure that we're in edges so that we can use our map topology. And you'll also notice now my edges are being highlighted in this purpley pink color. As my mouse hovers over them, they'll brighten and that's how I know which edge I'm about to select. So we've got here our state house districts. If there was a redistricting due to say the census, we could take, we've selected this edge between these two districts and we can grab one of our vertices and adjust it. Grab another vertex and adjust it until we get the shape that we need. When we're happy with it, we'll finish our sketch. Now you can see over here in the Modify Features pane that it's got the list of the layer name and then it's got two different selections. Those are the two different polygons that are sharing this edge. So I'll choose to finish my sketch and now I have my new edge. And I'm going to use my select tool to show you. I can select this polygon right here and you'll see the edge is right there. I can select this polygon and the edge is in the same location. So I don't have one overlapping the other like I would if I had moved them separately.